What has been the growth of the Muslim movement? There are conflicting reports as to how many Muslims there are in the United States. Can you tell us? Well, most critics say that the dissatisfied follow Muhammad, that the unemployed and the oppressed follow Muhammad. And I think you'll agree that sociologists, the economists, and other experts say that the masses of black people are dissatisfied, unemployed, oppressed, and fed up. So that he actually gets his support uh, at the mass level. But now you have other Negroes at the class level who pretend not to go for him because usually their job uh, has been given to them by the white man. They, are, they have positions to which they have been appointed and they uh, think that the only way that they can protect their job is by pretending in, the front, in front of the white man that they don't go for Mr. Muhammad either. But you find well, how, how many Muslims do you say there are in, the, in numbers? I couldn't say. I've never heard him say and he's the only one who would know. 500,000? I couldn't say. Uh, I think that uh, anyone who does say is not in a position to know, and anyone who knows wouldn't say. What do you think that uh, the Urban League and the uh, NAACP have accomplished for your people? What's your well, attitude Well, in their that? own way, they have been doing their best to bring about freedom, justice, and equality, and human dignity for the black people in this country. But today you have such a, uh, an intense degree of dissatisfaction and impatience existing among our people at the mass level that it is almost impossible to come to them with a program that's going to take another hundred years to solve their problem and they still be satisfied to wait. So that they have, the Urban League and the NAACP has done a good job within their understanding. But today it takes uh, more uh, uh, immediate solutions. And the solution that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad has is immediate. It's and more you practical. think they're not moving fast enough? Well, they're moving as fast as they can. But that's not fast enough for the masses of black people. If a person is sitting on a warm stove and you get ready to let him up, no matter how slow you are, he has patience because he, it's only warm. But the masses of black people who are sitting on a hot stove, they're impatient. And no matter how fast you say progress is being made toward letting them up, that progress is not fast enough for them. Well, the NAACP and the Urban League have both been critical of the of the Muslim. The NAACP and Urban League have been maneuvered into criticizing us against their own will. Usually the, the divide and conquer tactics have always been used by the oppressor to keep the oppressed oppressed. And the NAACP has been used against the Muslims. Efforts have been made to use us against them. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad says he'll work with the NAACP, the Urban League, and any other Negro organization that wants to uplift the black man as long as it doesn't conflict with our religious principles. Well, I remember once when Elijah was quoted as having said that the Urban League and the NAACP sold out to the white man. Has he ever made that statement uh, to To your... my knowledge, I don't think that he has said that uh, they sold out to the white man. I've heard him say that... Is that his feeling? Uh, the, the NAACP has been an existence for 54 years and, for, and they, they elect a new national president every year and they have never elected a black man to sit in that capacity. Arthur Spingarn has been president of the NAACP for 24 years and so in this sense it means that either they're practicing the same discrimination that they accuse the white man of practicing, they're practicing it themselves or else they're not qualifying other Negroes in that organization for positions of leadership. This is our only criticism. I you personally that? feel that they have sold out to the white man? Those you personally feel that those organizations have sold out to the white man? I don't think that uh, they would knowingly allow themselves to be used or misused against their own people. So if they are failing to do the job that, their pe that our people are expect of them, probably it's just through lack of understanding. But today their understanding is increasing and you'll find that they're developing a, a better ability to work with all different factions for the betterment of our people. Uh, Malcolm, how do you yourself feel about the white man? I believe that the white man has done a great injustice to the black man in this country mm -hmm. by having kidnapped our people and, uh, and brought us here and down to the level that we're on today. And today, instead of approaching the factors that their uh, or original mistake has created, Instead of approaching these factors objectively and realistically, the greatest sin that they're doing now is trying, by, is trying to pretend that they never committed a crime, that they never did any wrong. And when the Honorable Elijah Muhammad points out the injustices that our people are suffering, this, they, they, they uh, make that sin worse by accusing him of teaching hate or by accusing him of, of uh, black supremacy or by accusing him of advocating violence simply because he is pointing out the we, real we, factors we, we in the problem. A, we have a little time left. You don't have to hurry so much, Malcolm. <laughs>